Hello, we are the Dove Creek Band from Central Kentucky. We're here at WLJC to help them promote the gospel news of Jesus Christ. We're praying that you all will uh, uplift them, support them, and just help them to do their ministry because they're a wonderful ministry here. We're trying to reach a lost and dying world and uh, spread the good news of the gospel. Thank you very much. WLJC welcomes you to have church with us for the next 90 minutes during the hour of harvest. Call in your prayer request or praise report now. The WLJC prayer team is standing by to talk and pray with you. We have some very special musical guests here this evening to share in song the good news of the gospel. So sit back, relax, sing along, and join in with us as we pray for you and the needs of all our viewing audience. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight. We hope you can stay tuned because we have an excellent singing group with us that has driven a long way to be with us and they've been practicing and it sounds so good and so be sure and call your neighbor and tell them we got good singers tonight. Dottie has phone operators up there so we're going to do our best for the service to be an encouragement to you and we know there's on any given day there's people that tunes in that is going through some really rough things in their life and so we want the service to be uplifting encouragement give you hope if you're about to lose hope we want you to have you can live on hope till you can get your faith going so stay tuned we welcome each of you nursing homes the hospitals or the jails and the prisons and every place and, and a lot of folk are just homebound, not able to get out. So we want you to know that you're the ones that we have in mind when we have these live services each night is to bring uh, church your way. And so that's what we want to do tonight and to pray for people. Tonight we want to read some scripture from Isaiah the 38th chapter. Just a few verses but it's a really a good uh, it always inspires me every time I read it. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and Isaiah the prophet, the son of Ammon, came unto him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set your house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Now this is back when the Lord spoke through prophets and, and, um, and he told he told Hezekiah he was going to die, so he knew it was going to happen. Then, what was Hezekiah's reaction? Uh, then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall, and he prayed unto the Lord. And he said, Remember now, o Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. Hez and Hezekiah wept sore. All right, this was his reaction to the message that he was going to die. And I really like this because that he knew he had lived pleasing to the Lord. And he could say, now, hey, Lord, look, look, I've done all this. And now um, he had confidence that he could talk to the Lord and say, I have done what was right in your sight. And so he was, he was sorry. He didn't want to leave at that time. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord thy God, of the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thee, uh, unto thy days, fifteen years. I just think that is the neatest story, uh, how that God, uh, he'd already issued the, uh, the call for him to come home but then when Hezekiah I don't know how he prayed I don't know what he said but uh, he he got in touch with the Lord for himself and he said okay Hezekiah I, I have heard your prayers I've seen your tears and I'll add 15 more years to his life and then of course the chapter goes on telling uh, more in detail but that is the part that I want us to think about tonight is how 
that we can live to where that when something happens or something like this comes up that we can we we don't have to worry about pointing the Lord's attention back to that our life you know sometimes if you're not really doing what you should you you hope the Lord didn't see you so, such and such things but Hezekiah he knew that he had lived right before the Lord and and that gives us all hope that we can do it. This was in the Old Testament and they didn't even have the Holy Spirit to uh, be with them on a daily basis like we do. And so uh, it just is always encouraging to me and and how God had, had uh, said he was going to die, but then he changed his mind after he heard his prayers and saw his tears. And so now I don't know what he said, but it convinced the Lord to give him some more time. So, you know, when something ha comes our way and we're not sure what the will of God is, we need to pray until we can get an answer. And we, if we can live to where we don't have to worry or be uneasy for the Lord to look back at our life and the way we're living, then, then we're going to see some good results, I believe. Well, we have a, uh, a special prayer request in and we want to start out with. and. Uh, on the 11th of this month, uh, Tim and Judy Amberg it was here to sing. Now they're they're in the ministry and have have been for some time, but Tim had had a heart attack earlier this year and he was not well when he was here, but he has been in the hospital for the last six days, and. Uh, he was just had just been released and had just gotten in the car when they called to tell me about he had been in the Hazard Hospital all this time and uh, he wants uh, wants us to ask you to help pray for him because he is well enough to go home but he's not well and he has a great burden for souls and for uh, singing and preaching and so he needs he needs to hear from the Lord he needs a touch from the Lord so. I want you to help us pray for uh, Brother Tim Ambergy. All right, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the story of Hezekiah. We thank you that that your word never changes, and that that you uh, you know what is going on in each of our hearts. And we thank you, Lord, how that you honored the life, the good, clean life that Hezekiah had lived, and you gave him 15 more years to experience more life. And so, Father, tonight we bring Tim Amberg in, others, Lord, that are that's really standing in need of prayer tonight. We want to agree with them that you would touch them, that you would undertake for them, restore their health so they can use that good health to spread the gospel, to sing, and to preach, and whatever you want them to do. And we thank you tonight, Father, for our singers. We ask you to bless them. We thank you that you are using them like you, like you have been and just continue to anoint and continue to deepen their vision uh, for the lost. And uh, bless our audience, Lord. We do not know who will be joining us, but you do. So you deal with them and bless our phone operators. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we're in for some good singing tonight. The Southern Airs from Russell Springs, Kentucky. They do have CDs. Their phone number is 270-507-6205. And they're from the Free Union Separate uh, Baptist Church. And so that's the number to call if you want to get in touch with them and find out their, more of their, about their schedule and so forth. Right now, though, let's welcome the Southern Airs. What's that I hear? Is that the sound of a trumpet? Soon the eastern sky will part and I'll see his face. Men often dream of faraway lands with strange sounding names. Oh, but it seems each time I dream it's much the same. 
he's a coming back one of these days, you know, like the other song that we sung. What's that I hear? You know, it could be, we could hear that trumpet sound any moment now. Pray tonight, Lord, that uh, that uh, you guys out there watching, if you don't know the Lord tonight, that would, you would get yourself ready to go because we don't have the promise of another day. You know, we are living, and I believe in the last times, uh, the way everything's getting, we, we've had a lot of uh, uh, devastation already this year. We've had a lot of hurricanes. We've had uh, a couple of earthquakes. We've got more hurricanes going. Uh, I tell you what, there's just a lot of things going on, and I just uh, I, I believe the Lord could come back at any time. And the main thing tonight is to be ready. Have your heart ready and be saved and ready to go home with us all that are saved. So we pray tonight that you're out there watching, you get yourself ready to go tonight.
I just thank him. I remember back there when he was talking about, and he went into the garden three times, and his disciples went to sleep on him. But he went because he was human, he was flesh, but yet he was still God. And he really didn't want to go fleshly, but spiritually he wanted to go. He knew that he had to fulfill the promise of God. And I thank thank him so much that he went for me and shed his blood freely for me. I tell you what, God's been so good to me, and I just can't praise him enough. Thank the Lord for being able to be here. A drunk on the street, the rich and their palaces, poor and unearned, and men of decree, all have a soul in need of salvation, y'all have to come. so wrong that I needed forgiveness was I so bad had to be redeemed it wasn't a thief but I lived in sin's prison and I was as long saved an old sinner like me I tell you what if you're out there and you're lost it don't matter what kind of background you've got it don't matter where you're at or what you're doing the Lord can save your soul all you have to do is just turn your heart over to him and he'll save you just ask him believing and he will save your soul he went to an old rugged cross and shed he didn't spill it it wasn't an accident. He sh- freely shed his precious blood so that we could have eternal salvation. I just praise the Lord tonight for my salvation. You know, I'm just, uh, just so happy that the Lord looked down and he touched me one day. Yes. Almost 20 years ago, i tell you what, I, 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 just, I can't say enough about him. I just want to thank the Lord tonight.
going to do this song. It's, the title of it is Four by Grace. And I'd like to send this out to my wife, Kim, who's watching at home. And Brother Stanley wrote this song. It's a great song. He may want to talk a little bit about it there. One of my favorite uh, verses in the Bible is, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God. You know, you don't never pay for a gift. It's, it's freely given. It was, it's been paid for, and it's just given to you. Well, our Lord and Savior, He shed that precious blood freely so that we could have salvation. And all you have to do is just come to Him. It don't cost you a dime, nothing. You just got to believe and trust in Him. And this song, I tell you what, the Lord gave me words, and I, I, I couldn't write them down uh, quick enough. But uh, I, I pray that this will touch you tonight. It's called Four by Grace. It was not us that was born of a virgin. We can never heal the lame, make the blind. Such pain and agony He left His home in heaven above Was the only Son of God And for my grace my Jesus died for you and me He left His home in heaven above Was the only Just died for you and me, you and me. Amen. You know, it goes on. Ephesians 2 8 is where that uh, verse that I was talking about comes from, and it goes on in the ninth verse not of works lest any man should boast. Folks, we can't work to get there. We have to turn our heart and lives over to Jesus Christ. That's the only way we're going we're gonna to make it. And I pray tonight that uh, it'd be, uh, if you're out there and you're lost, and you feel the Lord uh, convicting your heart, just kneel right where you're at. He can save you. It don't matter if you're in the, in the tobacco barn. It don't matter if you're wherever. He can save you so wherever you're at.
It's not going to be like down here on earth. There's a lot of death. There's a lot of sickness and pain and sorrow. But when we get to that land of the living, it's going to be full of life. Because God's going to wipe away all those tears. And we're going to be with Him for eternal or for eternally. And I want uh, Brother Dale to come sing a song here. I uh, heard this a long time ago, and I love this song, and I tell you what, I know when I get there that I won't have to worry anymore. It's rough and long. Sometimes my feet get weary and so sore. But a brighter day is coming. Soon I'll step on heaven's shore, and I won't. Sure. 
will be on Jesus, and my heart will be aglow, and I won't have to worry anymore. My eyes will be on Jesus, and my heart will be aglow. days that when I get there, first person I want to see is my blessed Redeemer. And I want to just thank him for dying on that old rugged cross for me. And this next song says, thank God I made it. Redeemer for 
what he's done for me. I want to, I want to sing a song here now. You know, we talk about these hurricanes and everything going on. I hope that the world sees that God is in control. He can uh, calm the winds like he did with the disciples on the boat. They got scared, and he can calm that rough sea. I want to sing an old song that just says, Master of the Sea. Tossing to and fro, breakers dashed on every hand, angry winds around did blow, all on board were filled with fright, as the mighty billows rolled, then they called a Waves obey his will when he says to them, Be still. What man is this they all did say? Some great, great singing. The Southern Airs from Russell Springs, Kentucky. They do have CDs, so take down this number and order them. 270-507-6205. They're going to take just a few minutes break, and they'll be right back and uh, to sing more. We appreciate this group, their, their vision for souls and what they're doing for them. All right, from Perry County, Wanda has uh, called in for Barry, uh, Brother Terry Joseph. And uh, these preachers come under attack from time to time, and we need to pray harder for them. Uh, from Carter County, Oma called yesterday, and her prayer was answered today. So she's thanking the Lord for that. He does still answer prayer. Uh, from Perry County, for a lady that's in the hospital, pneumonia in both lungs. 
Juanita Smith uh, from Manchester uh, has been sick, had several surgeries, and still needing some healing. Ola from Jackson has breathing problems and can only see with one eye. She's on a walker recovering from pneumonia, but she listens to this program every night, it says. And from Letcher County, uh, Kathleen has called for sister Darlene that has bronchitis and pneumonia. She's bed faced and has to have physical therapy to even get out of bed, but they really enjoy the uh, TV station here. Pray for Evelyn Kavanoff. She's enjoying the service and wants us to pray for the whole world. And, and she sends her greetings to all of us. All right. Uh, Virginia has called for her son, a praise report. She'd called in for prayer and uh, some test was done and said no cancer was there. So she's thanking the Lord for that. And then also request prayer for another son. Uh, Gladys has called for her son that has uh, stage four cancer and also pray for Connie to get a ride back home. I'm not sure what all that's about. But anyway, uh, from uh, Scott County for a son-in-law, pray that he gets a job. There are all kinds of needs are coming in, but I tell you what, these, singing, these singers are doing such a good job. Let's work them hard. <laughs> And uh, the Southern Airs, and uh, they uh, have a lot of bookings. And when you call this number why, of theirs, why well, they will, can tell you all about it. But they're from Russell Springs, and that's a that's as we'd say in the country, a good four piece, three airs. Oh my! Well, I really appreciate. You know, I appreciate singers when they put forth a, a make a sacrifice to be here, and. Uh, and I'm glad you're doing it for the Lord because we don't have anything to repay, repay you or bless you, but God does. And Amen. so Amen. That, that's why I love to see people with burdens for souls. Let's welcome back the Southern Airs. Thank you, Sister Margaret, for those kind words. It's good to be here tonight, and, and thank you all for having us. And she said we had a CD. We got a brand new CD. We've, it's been out about uh, four or five months, and the title of it is coming home and brother charles he'll, he'll do this song off of this in just a minute and it has several of the songs on it we sang here tonight you have our number if you'd like to purchase one just call that number and brother charles will say that you get one we'd like to send this song out to uh, uh brother quentin stevens and his wife betty uh that he was going to come with us tonight and i don't know if for some reason he didn't get to make the trip but said he'd come the next time maybe if the lord tears is coming and uh, brother mark blake he always uh, watches and listens to us we want to send this out to him and uh, Brother Mike Daniel and uh, and some and some more people from our church that I can't think of their names. Our pastor, Brother Dustin McGowan, and my Brother Stanley's pastor, Brother Andy Robertson. And uh, the name of this song is uh, the Apple Tree Song. And uh, Brother Charles, it's a recitation. Brother Charles does a great job on it. So if you're lost out there tonight, listen to this old recitation. This might help you find your way back home. So uh, listen to Brother Charles sings. Close the revival in a Midwestern town. He stepped on the train heading home. He found himself seated beside a young man. With nothing better to do, he tried to strike up a conversation with him about the weather or just things in general. Well, the old preacher man noticed that he didn't get an answer. And he turned to the young man and saw tears streaming down his face. He said, son, I'm a preacher. I'm a minister. I'll help you any way I can. Well, the young man through his tears proceeded to tell this story. He said, Preacher, I got some mean back home Why Mom and Dad couldn't do anything with me. Why well, he said, Preacher, I even went as far as to strike my dad with my fist. My dad called me in one day and said, Son, we're going to have to ask you to leave home. We can't do anything with you. Why well, he said, You're breaking your mama's heart. And he said, Preacher, I've wandered all over this country for the past two years. 
And he said about three weeks ago, he said, I gave my heart and life to Jesus. He said, I'm on this train on my way home. Well, the old preacher man said, well, son, that's all well and good. How do you know it'll be all right? How do you know you're well? He said, preacher, I wrote mom and dad a letter. He said, I told them what had happened. He said, I told them I'd be on this old train. And he said, preacher, we've lived beside of these old railroad tracks all of my life in a little white house. And he said, out in the backyard, there's a great big old apple tree. And he said, I told mom and dad in the letter, if it is all right to come home, if it is all right to get off this train, just to have dad tie a white rag right on the top of that old apple tree. He said, preacher, I want to go home so bad. And he said, we're almost there. And he said, I can't bear to look. Would you look for me? Well, that old preacher man dusted the window of the train and a great big old smile come on his face. And he said, son, son. Why, he said, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Why, he said, that old apple tree's in full blossom. He said, there's white rags tied from top to bottom. And he said, besides that, there's a gray-haired old mom and dad standing out there waving a great big white bed sheet saying, come on home, son. Come on home. He said, you know, he said, that's just like God. It don't matter how mean we've been. It don't matter how far out we've gone. God's always willing and ready to take us home. I want to thank the Lord for my dad, and he's been gone to be with the Lord since 1987. I never hit him with my fist, but I hit him in the heart. Many, many times, just by foolishness and ignorance that I've done when I was a young man. and He gave me a lot of godly wisdom. I didn't want to listen to it, but one day, the Lord broke my heart. The Bible says you must have a broken heart and a contrite spirit. And when that happened, I bowed myself down. And all I had to say was, Lord, save me. I don't know how many times I said it, but when I got saved, I could just feel that weight lifted off my shoulders. I tell you right now, I've never been the same. God's put a song in my heart. He's put love in my heart. And I love people everywhere. And I want to tell people about Jesus. He gave me a desire. I felt like when I got saved that everybody ought to get saved. It don't happen that way. But I tell you what, I want to live so people can see something in me that's not phony or fishy. I just want to be true. I stood before my a few years ago and I told her, I said, what you see is what you get. Standing right in front of you, no more, no less. And that's the way it is about Jesus. What you see is what you get. He ain't going to change. He never has and never will. And I don't want to change. I want to be more like Him. I want to do His perfect will. And I beg of you today, if you're struggling today, maybe with drug addiction, it seems that drugs in this country has been a big thing. If you're struggling with it today, God can get you unhooked. I promise you that. You've got to bow down and ask Him to. Alcohol, pornography, whatever you're struggling Maybe you're struggling with finances. Maybe you're struggling your home is separated, broken apart to the devil and his ways. God can put her back together. It just takes time and patience. If you're fitting one of them bills or something that something else in your life that's wrong, just trust in the Lord. Just find yourself away over in the corner somewhere and bow down and ask Him to help you and save you, point you in the right direction, pick you up a Bible, and read that old King James Bible. The four first, first four books of the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, will point you to the cross. If you'll just read them, you'll want to read the rest of it. I thank the Lord for this radio station, TV station. I thank God that they've allowed us to come, and we certainly want to be a blessing to God, but we want to bless you too. the 
Father above. Sweep over my spirit forever, I pray. In fathomless billows of love, all soul are you here without comfort and rest. Marching down the rough pathway of time. Make Jesus your friend ere the shadows grow dark. Oh, accept this sweet peace so sublime. Peace, peace, one. speak sweet peace to our hearts you know that's a only a peace that a true child of god would realize and feel Amen. when the lord touches your heart he, he he speaks that peace in your heart that passeth all understanding and i'm telling you what he'll make a change in your life today for just freely accept him i want to do a song now Send this one out to my mother-in-law. I know she's watching. Um, and uh, this song has a uh, sort of a testimony in it. It says, the title of it's Look For Me. And I want to let you know that if if I go on before you do, look for me because I will be there too. Send this out to my mother-in-law and those folks that are saved out there. Hope you can say that tonight. I want you to be able to say that tonight, that you can look for me when you get there. Listen to this beautiful song. I want to send that out too to my wife, Brenda, and my sister Connie is at home praying for us right now. And I've got children that's backslid and lost. And just I want them to know beyond any shadow of a doubt if the Lord was to call me. I'm going to be there, and they need to make preparations. Look for me. When you finally make your entrance to that city of Jack and bright golden afternoons as you
request I make of you. Somebody say amen, somebody say amen, 
If you've been blessed by God, let me see you lift your hands. Joy bells in your heart starts ringing when the praises you start singing. Shout it out and then again, somebody say amen. Shout it out and then again, somebody say amen. 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 here to, to send out a uh, lady had called us on the way up here and maybe Charles can tell a little bit more about that phone rang and hello this is the miracle woman happened to be a lady from Jabez Kentucky that I worked on a few years ago in the back of the ambulance and and God created a miracle and uh, 
Her name is Margaret Stevens. She's from Jabez, Kentucky, and God done a miracle in her, and she's still praising God today. Just seen her just a few days back, and and uh, just want to thank God that uh, He still performs miracles. She told me when she was in the back of the ambulance, she said, I knew things were really bad. I heard you praying out loud. You know, and that's when things happened. God made it work. And I thank God today that He's given me the job that I have and seen many, many, many miracles in my career. And I expect to see more. Thank God for Sister Margaret and her family watching. All of them at home that's watching our church and just anybody that's watching, we just thank you for listening. I'd also like to send this out to a good brother that's battling cancer at home, Brother Gary Sullivan, his his, uh, his wife May, and uh, Brother Kenny Burton and his mother, Sister Janelle Burton, that always watch. And I uh, just hope you all get a blessing out of the song. And you know if you're saved, you'll be a winner either way. But if you're not saved tonight, the best thing you've got to look forward to is what's in this world right now. So if you're not saved, give your heart and life to Jesus tonight. Right now, don't wait another second because we don't have a... We don't have a, a, a guarantee of the next breath. God holds that in His hand. I mean, the one I just drew in my lungs is mine, but the next one is His. Is He going to let me have it? So listen to the word of this song. He'd reached the end of life's journey. He'd been holding to God's hand a long time. And as I knelt beside his bed, my heart was thrilled at what he said. If I go or if I stay, the victory. just had back surgery yesterday i think mom and dad evelyn and estelle wheeler they're homebound and just thank you for listening What has happened to a nation 
They can take it from the courthouse walls, remove it from the schools, teach our children that we're animals, speak against the golden rule, try and hide our Christian heritage from the public eye, but they'll never overcome God's Word, no matter how they try, God's Word will stand. Against the raging tide of those who criticize and work their evil plans, God's word will stand against the gates of hell with power to prevail in the hearts of men. God's word will stand. Hear this forever settled. It's the only way a sinner's heart will ever be made pure. God's Word will stand against the raging tide of those who criticize and work their evil plans. God's Word will stand against the gates of hell with power to prevail. The hearts of men, God's word will stand. God's word will stand. God's word will stand. Well, that's so true. God's word is, it will always be here. It says that he, he says that, and so we believe it. Well, if the uh, singers would like to come up and help us pray over the request and tell us a little bit more about their ministry, that'll be fine. We know you've enjoyed the Southern Airs uh, from Russell Spring, Kentucky, and they do have a new CD and the, they're from the Free Union Separate Baptist Church, and the phone number's been on the screen, but we'll give it one more time, 270-507-6205. All right. Um, well, they, I don't know where you could go to have found any better singers uh, singing than what we've had tonight. And such good songs about heaven and about things that matters. Amen. Gives Amen. us hope and, oh. and uh, oh. yes. uh, something that we can hang on to in this day and time. You know, we've been talking about the, the world situation with all the hurricanes and the fires out west and then uh, just a lot of things going on. But, uh, and you know, um, I took a whole week and read Matthew 24 few verses at a night and uh, and it, but it tells we can expect this this is just part of uh, part of it all all right uh well let's uh let's see what you all would like to share before we pray for the request tell us a little bit more about your ministry and about what you want the people to know we just thank god for being able to be out here and we want to tell people that if you're not saved or if you've got struggles, if you're troubled within your relationship with God, 
It is, you've got to have a true relationship. It ain't just part-time. It's all the time. And that's the reason we're out here. We want to tell you how to get in touch with Him and how to stay in touch with Him. He's a good God, and we want you to know that. Well, that's the reason we're out here, and we thank you for the privilege. I think his mic is, is behind him. Uh, I forgot to tell you where your mics are. But, uh, well, i got a big <laughs> mouth anyway. So. But anyway, God, uh, God's really good to us. And he's blessed us in so many ways. Let us go to churches and places all over the country to sing. And, and uh, I couldn't find two other better fellows in the world to sing with. These brothers, we have the best time. And we have church when we're practicing. We have church when we're singing. We love to have church on the bus. You never know uh, about us. So the Lord just shows up, and He's certainly been here tonight. And if you're struggling tonight with anything, let God know it because He's out there and willing and ready to help you. You're just one, one breath away from asking Him to help you. Yes. He will help you. I promise you. I can, I can tell you that. I, he's helped me so many times. Yes. Amen. All right. Well, I, we have the new CD here. And uh, uh, so there you have 10, ten songs. Any, uh, oh, the apple tree song. That is that is so good. That's always such an invitation. Invitation. Yeah, I can't, I can't talk. <laughs> okay, but anyway, a lot of good songs and and some of them you heard tonight, and so be sure and order them because this is one way that we can help the group is to order their CDs and call them at two seven zero five zero seven sixty two zero five. All right, uh, how many nights a week are you uh, folk in uh, on the road singing? Usually two to three. Uh, sometimes we'll have revivals through the week, or most time there's like uh, two or three on the weekends. So we just uh, we just praise the Lord that we're able to get out and work for Him. It's uh, it's a blessing, and and uh, we're not there for show. That's not why we're doing this. We want to see souls saved. Yeah, amen. And uh, souls are rededicated their th their lives and, and motivated to do better. Some of these songs, they'll motivate you, I tell yes, you what, yes. uh, to do a little more for our Lord and Savior. And it puts something good in their mind because yeah, you listen to the news, which we all do, uh, but it can it can work on you uh, on you when you when you go to bed you're still reliving all those yes. stories so Amen so God. good songs like that they have yes. done tonight uh, it it just really blesses you in every way well we have a number of prayer requests here's people like uh, someone at the uh, Markey Cancer Center had surgery today and someone with AFib having chest pains and she lives alone and and uh, so, all right, let's see. I believe uh, Charles is, are you a paramedic? Yep. How long, how many years you? About 30. 30, okay. Well, that's, that is a wonderful work. I've, uh, my son has been one for a number of years, and we hear some fascinating stories. Miracles. Yes, miracles, yeah. And, uh, well, if you uh, folk would take these, and, and there's the oil if you'd like to anoint them and uh, uh, pray over them. And now they're going to lead us, and we're going to add our faith with their prayers and yours. You called in, and you're asking for help, and so we're going to believe believe for it to happen like, like it's needed. And, uh, you know, like the story of Hezekiah, he knows all about us. He knows what's in our heart, and he knows what's in our life. And so... As, as these brothers lead us in prayer, let's join right with them. God, our Heavenly Father, as we bow before Precious you, Lord, we're so Father, thankful Lord, for your thank you so much. Son, Jesus, that went to, to Calvary for us. And Lord, we just come before you tonight just thanking you for these requests that's been made known. Thank you for the confidence in this station that people have called in. And, and God, we just pray that you would grant every request, Lord. We know that you can. And Lord, we know that you're able. Lord, we know that sometimes maybe it's just wait a little while or in your time because you said your ways are not our ways and your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Lord, but we just... Uh, Give us the peace and the comfort to know that we trust in you, Lord, and wait upon you. Now, God,
God, that we would wait upon you. And God, that you would answer our prayers in a way that you would see fit, Lord. Just help us never to ask something, Lord, that God we wouldn't need. And Father, we just pray that you put a special blessing upon this radio TV station, Lord. The sister's lost her husband recently. Pray, Father, you just fill her up with the Spirit, Lord. And just help those that's struggling with the loss of their loved ones, Lord. The family that's lost and undone. Just pray, God, that you just help us to have faith, confidence, Lord, that God will be saved before it's too late. Pray for our country, Lord, our leaders, our soldiers, men and women, our president, our governor, Lord, our local leaders, Lord. Just pray for that sinner that's closest to hell, Lord. We just pray that, God, that you would deal with them and help them to realize, Lord, that there's a better way. Just help the Christians in this country, Lord, that we would shine, that Lord, we would let people see that our lives would live and, and be a blessing to others that they could see you through us. Lord, just help us never to be phony. Help us never to be fake. Lord, just help us to be real. Lord, we thank you for the privilege, Lord, that it is to be out singing for you and, and Lord, lifting up your name. Bless my brothers as we travel. Lord, just give us travel and mercy. Be with all those that will enter this studio to, to sing and testify and preach. And Lord, we just pray that you'd have your way now. Lord, just bless again. All these requests, Lord, preach you in the sweet name of Jesus. And it's in your name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 All right, amen. That that was amen. great. So uh, yes. I'm glad that he hears our prayers, aren't you? Amen. And uh, we amen. appreciate all of you that called, and uh, we know that uh, there'll be many more that uh, will be watching even in the morning. At 6 o'clock, this will be uh, replayed, and also uh, it'll be on the uh, Internet on in our archives of, uh, that anybody can pick it up from any time they want to and listen to this good music. Southern Airs from Russell Springs, Kentucky. So you pray for them. They have a long drive home and so we know that they're going to uh, need God's protection and help. Well, looks like we are out of time. So from all of us, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope you get a blessing every time you watch. This program is available for download on your computer or mobile device at www.wljc.com. WLJC is now available on Roku and Google TV. DVD copies of this program are also available for your contribution of $15 or more. The WLJC programs, including the Hour of Harvest, are brought to you through your contributions of support. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deduction. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed about what is happening at WLJC, along with our monthly musical guest schedule, call 606-464-3600 or write to WLJC, P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Want to hear from us faster? Join our email list. You can sign up at WLJC.com. It's easy and it's free. May God bless you.